<laughs> I can't understand why someone would go through the trouble of stealing a box with a very ancient corpse. This city's not that dull. Well, I don't know. There isn't that much going on except the ghosts and the mad people and the sabat and the people who want to shoot me in the streets and the muggers and the fat larry. Hi, Beckett. I'm an archaeologist, so I thought I'd indulge in a quick study of this Ankaran sarcophagus everyone's so riled up about. My guess, from what I've read about it, is that it's a mummified Mesopotamian king. I needed confirmation. Open the box, save the world? Hmm? Did you see it at all? Oh, I really wish I had. All this speculation about the sarcophagus containing an antediluvian and being a portent of Gehenna is making me cringe. These are the kinds of ridiculous, superstitious assumptions I came here to debunk. What happens if you accidentally end the world? Does that mean I can slap you across your grey face and be like, Dude, don't end the world. Then he'll be like, No. Armageddon, Doomsday, the end of all kindred. Oh, okay. It's a common facet of most mythologies. Bah! Fear that the world will end. Many believe Cain and the antediluvians will return to consume or destroy all kindred. I wholeheartedly disagree. Well, Cain wouldn't be so pissed if the guy at the bar didn't just turn him out and be like, I'm just from Corhagen. He's like, <clears throat> care to serve a drink from a man from distant Corhagen? He's like, no, get out. And then he gets stabbed. And then Cain gets really angry. I don't know why he got smited by God. He just got stabbed by some douche and then got brought back with the necromancer. Oh, sorry. Wrong Cain. <laughs> just Cain has a C in it. Cain is the biblical first kindred and founder of the mythological first city, Enoch. Sorry. A place where kindred and kind coexisted. I believe Cain's a figure concocted to personify the transition from nomadic society to agrarian society. That myth, like most, has been twisted by time. But then, with the Cain thing, and you're walking past, and there's the dudes, and they're like, Help me, Cain, sir! And you can drain them from the walls. Telepathic draining, these vampires need to get on that. It's much better. Um, why don't you believe in Gunner? As I said, Organa. many cultures have the fear of some form of apocalypse. You're so sarcastic. Kindred believed That's in these awesome. stories when they were human, and naturally carried them over into kindred myth. But it doesn't take a supernatural act to cause widespread destruction. Humans and kindred are just as capable of managing their own destruction as a deity. A self-realized Gehenna warrants more vigilance than a god-induced one, don't you agree? Such is my argument. Which so frequently falls on deaf ears. Well, um... Are there any signs of Gehenna that are coming up? Like the end of the world and Cain claiming the Soul Reaver going back in time and ruining everything? Jeez, Cain. God, such a douche. What prophecy Hello, Cain, really. doesn't have vague apocryphal signs. Let's see. The usual ones cited are the appearance of thin bloods, Cain sightings, doom, gloom, that route. Thin Bloods? What are they? Except, you know, like, really weird sounding vampires. Thin Bloods rarely exhibit features or powers of their clan, and many can't embrace. Some are even rumored to have reproduced. Many kindred are terrified that their weak blood heralds the dissipation of every bloodline. Somewhat of an ignorant reactionary response, don't you think? <laughs> you can basically suck up to him. There's no reason not to, because he's basically like the vampire Indiana Jones, and that's kind of cool. So, this is all fa I should do it in his manner. This is all fascinating stuff. How long have you been studying, kindred lord? For 300 years, 300 I've been years. trying to determine the function of our existence. My god. The kindred's role in the world. No. I'm not content to attribute it to some act of supernatural biblical vengeance. Of course not. We exist. For a reason. That is true. And if it takes another 300, I'll figure it out. Any thoughts? Hmm. Do we have mutations with powers like encodes? We're the next evolution of human beings. And we're aliens from outer space. <laughs> aliens! The extent to which movies have shaped modern belief systems is extraordinary. Still, it's a better explanation than a divine sentence for manslaughter. Yeah, I agree. Aliens! Remember, the truth won't be told in time. It will be told by us. Well, my work here is stolen away into the night. Think I'll do the same. 
That's cool, Beckett. You do that. You take you and your scary Muck Satan eyes that way. Um, bye. <laughs> Why am I staring at his crotch? Femi Zach, what were you doing? Ooh. Shocking behaviour. So, yeah, that's the museum. Um, we got the fetish for a uh, crazy E.T. lady with the, the teeth and the t -t 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 scary. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, taxi. Man, taxi dude, you need to wear a seatbelt. Oh, right. Oop. Excuse me. Uh, we should go say hello to, uh, you know, Tony Blair. Evil Tony Blair? Evil Tony Blair? No. I'm not going to work out. Anyway, we're going to go say hi to Tony Blair. He's going to be like, you know, governor and stuff. Hey, dude. What's going on? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually care. Go away. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See ya. Bye. I'm sorry, Chunk. Your talk of food is making me hungry. And I might have to bite open your neck. That would be unfortunate because, you know, you're nice, sort of. And I don't really want to chomp you down. And... Oh, the prince is at the window. I wonder if I could jump on his head. Princey! The Tony Blair who was formerly called Prince. Let's jump on him. No, no. Yep. Hey, hey man, how's it going? The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, behind your back there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sound one. And that your decision was a byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. I pronounce the blast sentence, and I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. Oh, dude, do you want me to, like, leave you alone you're masturbating there? Because, you know, it's kind of a private thing, right? I've had my fill of sycophants. I need adjutants I can trust. Everyone respects you. Now, what is this about? The blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grab will be called. Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If a war ignites, it's my head that will sharpen the pike's hole. At least I can rest easy in knowing that you, my most promising attendant, has relieved me of one encumbrance tonight. Uh-oh. Do you need assistance bringing the sarcophagus up to my office? Yeah, about that. Um, Dude, it's, it's kind of gone, you know? Like, missing. Um, Not there. Vamoosed. Yoinked. Scarpered. Scabbed. Nicked. Johnny. You know? Despair. Doom. Stolen. Whoops, sorry, my bad. Uh yeah, it's to it. <clears throat> Stolen. Um How? Who would Oh Gary. Gary, you treasonous maggot. Gary? I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat. Gary? The Nosferatu Primogen. Gary! The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane. And for getting keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now. My mistake. Um, yeah, but the, uh... I yeah. want him found. Oh. I want him... found. Okay, um... The sarcophagus could be... exploited. End of the world? Causing who knows what catastrophe to this city. Godlike powers? If it were to fall into the wrong hands... Of Gary? Um, yeah, I'll go grab the Gary for you, it's fine. The Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood, but not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is, unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's baron is an Anarch named Isaac. Isaac's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but nonetheless he wears his mistrustedly on his sleeve. He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus can be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. Now, I must announce the blood hunt and bear the brunt of all consequences. Escort her out. Uh, what? Hey! Hey, I did stuff for you! Man, what a douche. Goddamn Tony Blair. Okay! So, next time, uh, we can, like, find Gary! Um, in Hollywood. And Hollywood is awesome. It's full of people like VV and, um, VV and. She's an airhead. But it's really funny what you can do with her, uh, like, as a mouth, you can actually really wind her up, but... Not a mouth, I'm sorry! <laughs> but we, we, we can... It's fine. Don't worry, don't worry, I've got plans. So many plans. However, in the meantime, we will have to leave the horror of the vampire for this evening. I hope you've enjoyed the sets. Set. One. Plural.
No? One. And until then, I feel like a bum rampage coming- in. <laughs> I can't say a bum rampage, I can't rampage a bum, it just sounds terrible. What? Um, anyway, bum rampage, okay, I can't stop. Um, yeah, so, thanks for watching the set. I'm gonna go murder some people now. Good day! Woo! Da 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 da! No one can stop me. Oh no! Oh! What? How did you- What the hell? Put it- It's a Terminator! No! No, thanks for watching! Oh god, help me! Till next time! Ah!